of the old muon falling from the sky to the ground um, experiment, I guess, uh, is a really great example of how special relativity works. So muons, you don't need to know like much about them. They're basically just subatomic particles that are created in the upper atmosphere of the Earth by cosmic rays. Um, but don't worry about that. Basically, what's important is that muons falling from the sky, from the upper atmosphere to the ground, can really demonstrate the effects of special relativity. So, how exactly does it do that? Um, well, muons, they're radioactive um, particles. They have a very short half-life, only 2.2 microseconds. The time it would take for a muon to fall from the upper atmosphere to the ground is much longer than 2.2 microseconds. So, even if there are a lot of muons falling from the sky, we would expect that only a very small proportion of them would actually make it to the ground because their half-life is so short. When we do experiments, however, to kind of detect muons at the base of a mountain um, or something like that, we actually observe a much greater proportion of muons than we would expect. But how is that possible? Because muons have such a short half-life. The answer lies in special relativity. When the muons fall from the upper atmosphere, they're traveling very fast at speeds close to the speed of light. So because of this, relativ relativistic effects start to come into play. Okay, so in the reference frame of the muon, their half-life is the normal half-life we would expect, 2.2 microseconds. But the key is, we are not in the reference frame of the muons. In the reference frame of the muons, yes, they're decaying at 2.2 microseconds, but at our reference frame, the reference frame of the Earth, their half-life is different. We experience, in this situation, the dilated time. So the half-life of the muons is extended. The half-life that we observe for the muons, in this case, would be something like 20 to 22 microseconds. So because the half-life has been extended, this is why we kind of observe a much greater proportion of muons at the surface of the Earth than we would otherwise expect. And this is one neat experiment that uh, demonstrates the merits, I guess, of special relativity. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission.